Welcome! In this video, I will share with you how I go about maintaining skills I already know while also learning new skills. This is something I thought about a lot and it's something that used to stress me out a lot and I thought I would share with you how I went about solving this. If this sounds interesting, please tag along. Otherwise, I'll see you another time. Hey boy, my name is Andreas, I'm a teacher from Sweden and I like to learn stuff. On this channel I will share with you things related to learning, education, uh, understanding the world and lots of other things that interest me. If this sounds interesting, please like and subscribe and let's get into the video. This video will be divided into three parts. First, I will talk about my own life and the context of which I encountered this problem. Secondly, I will talk about what I found to be the core problem for me when it comes to maintaining skills and learning. Thirdly, I would like to talk about some practical solutions I use to learn new skills while also maintaining older skills that I've already learned and mastered. For quite a long time, I've been into learning stuff. I taught myself to play the guitar, I've been into powerlifting and weightlifting, I've been trying to learn Spanish, I've been trying to learn touch typing, and I have a full-time job. This last year, I started thinking about putting myself out there on the internet. With it came lots of new skills to learn, like how to write blog posts, how to start a blog, how to write well. And then I wanted to add on YouTube production as well, so I started with like how to film, how to set up the camera, how to edit. When doing all this, I encountered a problem. So I was already trying to like continually improve at guitar, like tracking my workouts, getting better at that, studying Spanish. And that took a lot of time. And then when I decided to start with this online persona, writing blog posts, filming YouTube videos, it became sort of overwhelming. There was so much things to do, so much things to learn, and I didn't want to stop doing what I already did. So I thought about this a lot, and I sort of came up with a solution that I thought helped. And if it helped me, I thought it might as well help you if you're in a similar position. I identified a core problem that was the cause of a lot of stress for me. When learning things, especially big or hard things like an instrument or a new language, consistency is really important. Working a little bit with something every day is very powerful and when you do it, you start to notice that things actually happen. So this is sort of like a superpower. If you could practice the guitar a little bit every day, you get a lot better over time. However, this superpower does also have a drawback. When you want to have consistency with too many things, life gets harder and it starts to cause a lot of stress. At least that was the case for me. I feel like I need to input a caveat here. My advice and my tips is for the person who wants to do everything at once. I'm that sort of person. Like I've never really been able to just choose one thing and work with it. I always want to do lots of things. And I've sort of accepted that I'm the kind of person that are good at many things, uh, but I'm not really a master at one thing. And I, that's just how I like to do it. <laughs> like, if you want to get really, really, really good at making YouTube videos, probably putting aside other things, such as learning a new language, is a better way to go than the tips I'm about to give you here. However, if you're the kind of person who likes to do everything you want to do and sort of manage it, then I think maybe you could get something useful here. Okay, so let's talk about the solution. For me, there, I had four different parts that helped me solve this problem. Uh, I call it the fun factor, letting time and energy decide, small consistency instead to big consistency, and thinking in terms of project. So let's go through them one at a time. Firstly, I would like to talk about the fun fact. Sometimes new things can feel incredibly fun, like editing YouTube videos was one of those things for me. I just enjoyed it, I liked it a lot. And when something feels fun like that, I found that it's important to make it a priority. 
like when I was younger or in the past, now I sound really old, then I always tried to be consistent at every cost. Like I had decided one hour of guitar every way and like working out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, etc. And nothing could change that because that's not how consistency works. Now being consistent is good and all, but when you're consistent to the point that things start to feel boring and not as fun, then I think you're working a sub-optimal state of mind. Because what you do become more of a chore instead of something you do for fun, and then you start to do them more poorly because you just want to get it done. Now, instead, if you have found something in your life that feels fun, like editing YouTube videos was for me, then letting that just be fun and just giving that a lot of time and energy, I feel is sort of more worth it than being consistent. So my first tip is, if something feels fun, let that go ahead of all your other things. Because you're working in a more optimal state of mind and everything will be done in a much better way than something that you don't feel as passionate about. Uh, my other tips is something I call small consistency. And with that I mean that instead of trying to be consistent with very big things, consistency should be saved for things that we can maintain every day and therefore they need to be kind of small. So instead of having like the aim to play guitar for one hour every day, which if you start to add on a lot of new things gets really hard, instead of trying to have the goal of being consistent with playing guitar 10 minutes every day. That's something that's much more easy to maintain and it gives you a lot of the benefits of doing something every day because 10 minutes practicing the guitar every day is still better than not. Another tip that I would like to share is thinking in terms of projects. Now I got this idea from David Allen's Get Things Done. When we learn something it's easy to fall into the trap that this is a never-ending journey uh, because that's what learning is, it never really ends and you could expand on to it forever. However, this can feel somewhat overwhelming and instead of doing that, what we could do is try to break down what we're learning into very small parts that we can do. For example, instead of practicing the guitar for an hour every day, sitting down and learning this specific piece of this song is much more manageable. And I really like this mindset because it shifts from maintaining something over and over and over again to get lots of positive feedback from what you're doing right. And it's just a much more pleasurable, 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 a more enjoyable way of doing it. The great things with thinking in terms of project is that when you complete them you get like this load of energy back so you start to feel a lot better about yourself. The last thing you should think about is letting time and energy decide what you do. So don't let consistency stand above your own time and energy. I made this mistake a lot in the past. I thought that if I want to be consistent, I need to do it every day, otherwise I fail. And I fail a lot and I felt bad about it. Some days it's not possible to be consistent, especially not if you have high standards. Because we are limited by time and energy and some days work exhausts me. And those days it's not possible for me to just come home and play guitar for an hour or grind out a hard workout. I need to rest so I can feel good because I don't want to go around feeling bad all the time. And when I shift into a mindset where I like took into consideration how I felt about things, then things started to be much easier. So nowadays what I do is I try to focus on getting energy back as fast as possible so I can go back and doing whatever I like. And that could be different. Like some days getting energy back is just coming home from work, reading, it could be writing, which are kind of productive things. And some days resting could mean just sitting down in the sofa, eating chips and watching series. It sort of depends upon what I'm doing. Thank you for listening. If you stayed this far, I'm really impressed and very, very grateful. I'm just starting out and your support is very much appreciated. 
Thank you. See you around. Hello.